hit the trembling at Earth running, or at least slotting, back in July and has never looked back. Thank you, Kim. And another shout out to Mark Bell, Mark, our yeah. longtime general manager, and his assistant general manager, Mark Cheatham, over here. Thank you guys so very much for all you've done. Now we're very excited to now partner with Okie Pinoki Adventures to operate visitor services at the eastern entrance to the refuge at its headquarters. Okie Pinoki Adventures is the brainchild of Chip and Joy Campbell, who are here with us today. Thank you, Chip and Joy. Thank you all you're doing. Thank you again to each of you here today and for all you represent. Now I'd like to move the program along by introducing our speaker. First on the agenda is our district representative to the Georgia Department of Transportation Board, which owns and operates this visitor information center and others throughout our state. Ann Purcell, who served in the Georgia legislature for 18 years before joining the DOT board in 2013 and was chair of that board from 2018 to 2019, is not able to be with us today. But she has asked me to read the following statement of affirmation. This is from Amber Sun. My schedule would not allow me to be with you today, but I would like to send my greetings. As the first congressional district representative to the State Transportation Board, along with the entire board, we are extremely excited about the ultimate positive image of Georgia that is reflected in this Georgia Welcome City. By being creative and committed, we were able to build this wonderful center, which proves our commitment to increasing economic development opportunities throughout our state. We are pleased to welcome the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge's impressive Okefenokee Swamp exhibit in our center that welcomes millions of visitors each year. Thank you very much. is strongly supported by the Georgia Department of Economic Development, known as GDEC. And it is a pleasure for me to introduce Mark Jaronski, who is the Deputy Commissioner of Explore Georgia, which is the Tourism Division of GDEC. His division directs efforts to advance visitation throughout Georgia, which is a $66 billion a year industry in our state that supports almost a, a half a million workers in tourism. This is no small change. Over the past 25 years, Mark Jarosky has emerged as a national leader in destination tourism. The majority of his time was spent with the iconic Disney parks worldwide. So he supported uh, promotion and communication and marketing both in their World Headquarters in Burbank, California, and in Orlando. He has also served as Chairman of the U.S. Travel Association's Communications Committee. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Clark, and good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Just muffles it a little bit. You, you sounded great. I'm not so sure I sound good. <laughs> I'm Mark Jarowski, Deputy Commissioner of Tourism for Georgia. As, as Dr. Clark mentioned, the, the Tourism Division of the Georgia Department of Economic Development. It's really great to be with you here this morning and to celebrate the opening of this great exhibit. Congressman Carter, thank you for being here. Welcome to the, to the Visitor Center. Today, we not only celebrate Okefenokee Swamp Park, but also the partnerships that we enjoy here at the Fort Wentworth Visitor Center. And really, all of our visitor centers across the state of Georgia, we have nine of them in operation today. The, there's no doubt that this new exhibit will catch the attention of our visitors and increase engagement between our guests and team members here at the center, which really prompts further discussion about Georgia's natural resources, natural wonders, and one of our state's most unique tourism assets, 
I'd like to thank those who've been instrumental in creating this exhibit and supporting our statewide tourism industry. DOT board chair and former representative Ann Purcell, who you acknowledge, we very much thank her and her support. David Biker with the National Wildlife Refuge System. Leo Miranda and the Department of Interior's U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. Bobby Wilson and the entire team at the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. And I would re be remiss if I didn't also acknowledge our Explore Georgia team. Brittany Gray, who's our Director of Visitor Services, who oversees our nine visitor, services, visitor information centers around the state, is here with us. Thank you, Brittany, for joining me today.
Well, thank y'all for wearing your mask. I, I apologize, but I can't speak with the mask on. I was in Tuscaloosa this weekend, so my voice may be a little weak. I apologize for that. Let me begin by thanking all of you for being here. This is a very, very special occasion, and I mean that sincerely. It is. It's a very special occasion for our district, for our state, and for our country. I would be remiss if I didn't recognize the outstanding leadership and the dedicated dedicated service that Dr. William Clark has given to the Oki Formation School. Let me tell you folks, if you've ever seen this guy at the Oki Finoki, he truly loves that swamp, and we are so thankful for him. Also, um, he got recognized earlier, Kim, Kim Bedronick, and thank you, Kim, for being here. She's the new executive director of the Oki Finoki Swamp Park. And you know they're doing great things there. Dr. Clark understands how important it is and how important it is to, to build up relationships. And I think that is a key to this, and I think it's a key to even greater success that the Okie Finoki is going to, to enjoy. They have a public partnership, a public private partnership with Steve Foster State Park, with the Oki Finoki Adventures, with US Wildlife. This is extremely important. And just recently they entered into
It's already been covered. The Okefenokee is the largest blackwater swamp in North America. I don't need to say more there. But also, and it's part of the national trail system. It's a national natural landmark. The Okefenokee is special for all Americans, and it's literally known across the globe. The Okefenokee Refuge receives 600,000 visitors a year. 10% of that visitation is international travel. We learned from a 2017 report that Okefenokee Refuge alone supports 753 jobs, 17 million in employee wages, 5 million in tax revenue, and 64 million in total economic output. And that's just the National Wildlife Refuge. Those figures soar when you include our partners' two entrances as well. But what this ribbon cutting represents is so much more than simply an exhibit, an amazing one, where visitors can learn more about the Okefenokee Swamp. What this really represents is a collaboration where federal, state, nonprofit, and private landowners can come together as part of a grassroots movement, people who genuinely care about the swamp and work cooperatively, not only to educate the public about this amazing natural wonder, but also to promote the swamp as a unique ecotourism destination that will economically benefit the surrounding gateway communities while not diminishing their way of life. I close with a special thank you to Refuge Manager Michael Lusk, who I know could have taken a promotion to work in other parts of the country, but he stays here because of his love and his loyalty to the Okefenokee and its people. And a very special thank you to our lead ranger, Susan Heise, always hiding, working in the background, but really getting it done. Thank you, Susan. You've been the driving force to get this project completed. <laughs> Susie, it's only fitting that you get to cut the ribbon. <laughs> but we want to thank you, Susie. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much, Congressman. Thank you, Georgia DOT and Georgia Tourism and our state and private partners all around the swamp. Looking forward to today. Thank you. Now, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources administers uh, visitor services in all of our state parks. We have two of the ethnic area. Stephen C. Foster State Park is the western entrance into the swamp by Fargo. But Laura Walker State Park is just down the road from the Okefenokee Swamp Park. These two entrances provide cabins and campsites for visitors who want to enjoy you know, a natural environment as they take themselves and prepare maybe to go deeper into the swamp. Representing the DNR is, today is Jeff Count. Jeff is the director of Georgia State Parks and Historic Sites Division and has been since 2018. But he spent over two decades before that with the Environmental Protection Department. How important is that for us? His division oversees 63 state parks and other sites, and he's committed to make our Georgia parks the greatest system in the country. As an aside, Jeff is said to be one of the world's greatest dog fans, and many of you know what a strong rage fan I am. So we're both in a little bit of mourning over the games that occurred on Saturday and Sunday. Nevertheless, welcome Jeff Cowan. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Clark. And uh, so happy to be here today. Um, <clears throat> the only thing better would be if we could go to the Swamp Activists and have a, an event. Um, my 30-year career with DNR has afforded me a lot of opportunities to see the Swamp. I've seen it. As far as the congressman talked about the Tri-County area, I've worked down there many times with the Environmental Protection Division all around there and always uh, found a place that I was in Waycross, I'd sneak down to the park in the afternoons and try to see an alligator. Uh, and now with uh, being with State Parks, for the end of my career, it's just enjoyable to have Laura Walker and Stephen C. Foster to visit. Um, but, but it's with this project that our, the partnership has was born for open up the partnership. And, and it's, you know, sort of tied together the three entrances to the swamp, and we also, as you said, include Laura Walker always. Um, and the stakeholders from the surrounding community. You know, several years in the making, and, and I, I had nothing to do with the first four months, but I'll, I'll thank the ones that did on my team. But it represents a high level of ongoing commitment and collaboration for the three entrances. It's represented with a strong partnership between these entrances. 
you know, this exhibit located in this regional visitor center is the first of its kind for Georgia State Parks. We want to continue to have those things because, you know, it, it really significant served the purpose for parks to emphasize that Southeast Georgia is a regional destination. That's something I try to focus on. I try to get our parks into things where, if it's just one example, if you go to Savannah, you want to visit Wormslow Historic Site, and that has made that such a booming thing. So I work on that all around the state to try to find regional destinations for folks to go, and this is the start for this one. It will provide a much clearer understanding of how each entrance can provide a unique and different experience. Um, and and I, just, I just thought, one of the things that I did, I didn't even mention, as some of y'all remember, and I was at the East Entrance a lot, way, way back, uh, when a company wanted to mine something. And there, I worked on that many, many years ago. It seemed like a lifetime ago. So I spent a lot of time on the East Entrance, a lot of time on the North Entrance, and now I spend a lot of time on the West Entrance. Um, it better ties Stephen C. Foster, Laura Walker, and our Swanee River Echo Lodge uh, to the you know, internationally recognized Okefenokee Swan. And you know, we're one of the first international dark sky locations as well. So if you get an opportunity to go down and visit the folks and go on a night boat ride in the, in the swamp. So Stephen C. Foster over the last year had generated 670,000 in revenue while serving over 133,000 visitors. As they said, cab, cab, cabins, camping, boating, tours of the swamp. Um, this thing is important. So this last year we also, we are investing in the put two brand new comfort stations in the campground. We renovated the residence, this is a federal residence that houses law enforcement for us down there, which is a part of our agreement with the, the refuge. And we're going to continue to invest down there. And this really will be an emphasis for that. As the more folks that come, the more revenue we have to make sure we keep it investing and give people an opportunity to see the storm. Michael, thank y'all for allowing us this opportunity to have Stephen C. Foster State Park. It's a, a gem in my mind. And folks wanted, our folks want to go coach. Can we have a meeting at Stephen C. Foster? I said, absolutely. Um, let me thank the folks that really did this. This is, the folks that really did this is the manager down there, Brian Gray. Brian's in the back. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> we have Jackson Morski, who's the assistant manager. Josh Schnee. Bobby Wilson is our regional manager down there. Thank you guys for representing this well and being a part of this partnership. Um, just want to thank y'all for allowing me to be here today. This has been a fun event. Like I said, hopefully I'll be back to the swamp soon and, and uh, Josh will take me on a boat ride. I always love to go on a boat ride. I make sure I'm there in time to go on a boat ride. So thank y'all and I appreciate everything.
This is a, uh, a publication from National Geographic from 2012, okay? It's the 100 most beautiful places in the entire world. And if you look at it... The, oops. The Okefenokee is right there in number 49. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. National Geographic says we have one of the one most 100 top, one of the top 100 most beautiful places in the world right here in South Georgia. And I hope people, and I hope this exhibit will help people uh, realize that and really appreciate all that that means because that's a powerful statement what a unique and beautiful place that is. Oh, but that's not enough, you say. Well, in 2017, um, USA Today did a poll of the top 10 most beautiful campgrounds in the entire United States. Our platform system, the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, where you can go out in the back, we maintain 120 miles worth of water trails, came in at number two, the second most beautiful campground in the entire United States. We beat out places like the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We beat out the Grand Canyon. We beat out all those other places the only place we lost to uh, was um, Big Bend National Park in Texas, and we suspect Russian collusion. But, <laughs> but, but let me say this. So, so the Okefenokee is not just a, a wonderful place to visit. As, as has been alluded to, um, it is 438,000 acres of Blackwater Swamp, the largest in North America. The refuge is 407,000 acres of that. We're more than half the size of the state of Rhode Island. If you want to come to a place to find out what was the world like before the hand of man laid heavily upon it, this is the place to come. As we said, Stephen C. Foster State Park is an international dark sky park. Um, this is the place we are, by the way, someone did a study, and the Okefenokee is the most remote spot in the state of Georgia. So if you want to come and find out what was it like, where can I find that peace and quiet to get close to myself and to God, this is the place to come, the Okefenokee Swamp. And our three entrances, and that's what this represents. This isn't just about, hey, let's tell people to come see the Okefenokee. That's part of it. Yes, it is, but it represents so much more. This represents a collaboration between the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, the Okefenokee Swamp Park, and Stephen C. Foster State Park, all coming together and saying, let's work together, let's work collaboratively, and, you know, we're so big and we're so diverse, every entrance has something completely different to offer the public. So when you come visit us, don't just go to one entrance, go to all three, because they're all three completely different. And so that's what we want people to do. We're not just this big, beautiful Blackwater Swamp. We're also an economic driver for our local communities, and we want to emphasize that. We want to bring people into our communities and help those local gateway communities, Waycross, uh, uh, Folkestone, Fargo. We want to help them prosper too and, and, and you know, see the benefits of having this wonderful place right you know, in their community. So we want to do all those things. All right, so what we're going to do now with the uh, ribbon cutting, uh, we're going to do two ribbon cuttings. First, we're just going to have uh, a small group, the immediate partners, and then we're going to invite all the partners to come up. Uh, and first, um, and I've got my list so I don't forget anybody, uh, but first I want to invite Susie Heisey up. She's actually going to use the scissors. And I want to point out to everybody, if you like this exhibit, you need to thank her personally because it was her work with Georgia Tourism and Georgia DOT that made this possible and then with Wilderness Graphics. So she was really the brains and the brawn behind, and we, none of us would be standing here today without her. So if you like it, make sure you thank her. And then, uh, uh, Congressman Carter, if you could come up, please, sir. And then after that, uh, for the state parks, if we could have Jeff come up and Brian, that would be great. And then, uh, let's see, David Biker, can you come up, please? And then, of course, Dr. Clark and Kim, if you could come up for Okefenokee Swamp Park. And then Chip and Joy, if you would come up for Okefenokee Adventures.
Jones. 